Hello, it's Alex here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll prepare some pasta with a bacon cream sauce. It's an easy recipe. Remember that all the ingredients for this recipe you can find in the description down below. Where are the other links that you can visit as well? Let's do some cooking. In a deeper cooking pot on a high heat, add water, two liters of water is enough to cook 400 grams of pasta. In that water we will add some oil and salt. Let it boil. While the water is heating up, we will prepare some garlic. So use the small part. Now we have garlic and we will prepare some bacon. This is a homemade bacon. You can find the link in the description down below how I prepare a homemade bacon. The whole procedure with the smoking and everything. So we'll slice this bacon on some parts we'll have to remove the skin now we will slice it in the small slices like this So we slice it all like that. When all is sliced, now we are ready to prepare a bacon cream sauce. Let's go. And fry some bacon on that butter. You don't have to use butter, you can use a few drops of oil or if your bacon is really fat, then in that case you, you don't have to use any oil or butter. Mix bacon often, so each part will be fried properly. Our water is almost boiling, yeah, it's almost there, so soon we will cook some pasta. When bacon is in this phase, you see how it looks like, almost crispy, we add garlic. Just fry it a little bit. We don't want the garlic to burn, so when garlic become a bit yellowish brown, then we will add sour cream. Mix it slowly. 
let the sour cream melt. Now we add mustard. And let it boil for a minute or two. And this is done. Our water for, for the pasta is boiling. While it is boiling, then we add pasta. Mix it. Let it start boiling again. When our cream is done, before you take it off the fire, make sure to check if it's salty enough. It has to be a little bit more salty than a regular meal because we are using it as a cream for the pasta. And I didn't put any salt in here because homemade bacon that I prepared is really salty and this meal is good enough without any salt because the, the, the bacon release the salt from itself. Let's see our pasta. All right. I'm checking both things at the same time because this one is almost finished and this one just started so you can do it both as well okay this cream is now prepared we'll just turn off the fire and move it aside mix pasta from time to time check pasta if it starts getting soft it's almost done when the water starts changing the color like now that is the time when you should try one piece of pasta if it's well cooked we don't want to overcook it so every now and then you check if it's completely done if you check them like that you will definitely have your pasta perfectly cooked when you are sure that your pasta is cooked, turn off the fire, take it out and serve it. Serve it on a plate with sauce and some hot paprika. Well, let's taste this goodness. Bon appétit. Mm. This combination is really good for people who like salty food and hot food. Of course, you don't have to put hot paprika if you don't like it. I like this kind of pasta because of the structure it it catches a sauce in which gives it more flavor this is an easy perfect meal my friend Daniela loves this one. yesterday I was with her on a, our our hometown lake and guess what we found What do you say about those swans? I love so much nature and at my camp place 
we have swans as well. Take a look at the video of mine. In that video, we are trying to find this forest chicken mushrooms. There is a beautiful swan that nested right there at my camp place and it take out 12 young ones. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel. You won't miss anything new if you click that notification bell. Don't forget to take a look at the ingredients for this recipe in the description down below. If you want to donate to my channel, feel free to do so. I'll see you in the next video.